Today on Eastern Voices, we have a chit chat with the CEO of Ibo Bistro and Panda Realization Sports, Mr. Chima Wiki, and he reveals his humble beginnings and inspiring experience in the hospitality business. Ibo Bistro is a realization spot in the Navy Anambra State. It has a restaurant, bar, and nightclub. It's a brand known for exceptional hospitality services. My name is Chima Wike. From your own experience in the yeah. hospitality industry so far, yeah. what's your view on the impact it has on the economy of the Navy? Number one, <clears throat> there are so many young people that have no job. Yeah, so I think hospitality creates <clears throat> a job. Like here, we have up to 38 staff working with us. So I think that's job opportunity. Yes. Okay, sir. Do you think there are room for more players in this new hospitality industry? As in, is there room for more people to come into this line of business? Yeah, there are. There are so many things to do when it comes to hospitality. Just that People they are waiting for who will go first. And when you make a move, succeed, they will now start flowing. Okay. They are all scared to take a step. Interesting. So for some people that want to take that step, that's people that want to invest in the hospitality sector of the Navy, yeah. what's your advice to them? Well, my advice is <clears throat> everybody has a calling. For you to go into hospitality, it's not something you just jump into. You must have an idea, a tip. Because I noticed some, they have the money, they will just invest. Before you know it, they flop. So I think it's best to calm down and learn about the business before you go in. Learning first. Exactly. Okay, as a business owner in this line, how do you deal with things like poor energy supply or insecurity within the environment? Mm, well, mostly the lights is affecting us so bad. Okay. And now the price of diesel is so high. You find out that at the end of the month, all your profits will go to the diesel. So I wish government can do something to improve the electricity, the okay. power supply. When more hotels or short legs or real estate sector booms in, <clears throat> how do you think it will affect? hospitality as in how do you think it will affect this line of business i don't think it will affect okay so it's a good thing yeah it's, it's positive a good thing. yeah it's positive mm. interesting so do you think hospitality stands a chance to be recognized as one of the major lines of business in the navy that's apart from manufacturing and mm. trade what do you think about that line of conversation? Well, actually, that's what I'm trying to do. Oh. Yeah. I came up with this, with this table. Then after a year, I opened up another place called Panda. Panda. Yeah. Yes. And I believe by the end of this year, I'm coming up with another one, okay, which we're really working good. on. Okay. Yeah. Panda really does good smoothies, though. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. So, um, as a stakeholder, will you say that the environment has been safe for you to operate so far? Or has there been issues with the government or taxes or something like that? Uh, for now, I believe government is working so hard okay. you know, to bring back safety in the Navy, which I'm also involved. Okay. You can see I have my own walkie-talkie. Oh, <laughs> so if I see any insecurity, I'll just alert them. Put an alert, yeah. Oh, okay, that's a good one. So, so far, we've been able to learn from you that delving into hospitality business is one that you have to learn about before you exactly. start. And then, when the person eventually starts, how do you advise they should sustain it? Before I think, before you succeed in life or before you need to go into something, mm -hmm. one, you must have an affection for that. I remember when I started, <clears throat> I started as a DJ, from DJ to waiter. Then from waiter, I opened my own place. 
but that was in abroad, not here. Yeah. I ran it for like four years. I decided to bring it back to Nigeria. And then people were telling me I shouldn't try it. Even if I want to bring it, yeah, I should go to Lagos. I said, no, somebody started it in Lagos. So I want to be the one to start in Nigeria. They said, okay, good luck. And now they're saying they wish they could do <clears throat> About hospitality, yeah. mostly clubbing or bars. Yeah. Some people have this bad perspective, thinking that going to clubs is bad then. Yeah. It's not. Okay. It's all about having your own fun. And it depends what you're going for. And there are people that want to go to club just to listen to loud music doesn't necessarily mean you are going for a guy or a girl, no. Just like so, the atmosphere, the vibes, the exactly, music and everything. Exactly. It's like movies. Some prefer to go to cinema. Sure. Yeah, to see it on a big screen. And... <laughs> <laughs> like and share this video if you got value. And let us know your opinion on today's episode of Eastern Voices in the comment section. Thanks for watching Anido TV.